Hello everyone, welcome back to High Mathematics. Today we have an interesting, interesting equation. We have x times 256 times x equal to 1. And we need to solve this, this equation. How can we solve this interesting equation? This is looks like hard equation because we have x as our variable and of course x as a variable but in a in, as our exponent. So on the first side this equation is real hard, but I'm gonna show you a really fast trick how can, we, how can we easily solve it. Take a look if we write this equation x times 256 times x equal to 1. If we divide both parts by x, so we divide in both part by x, we will have that on the left hand side this x and this will cancel and we'll have 256 to the power x equal to 1 over x. So we just divide both, both part by x. Why I divide both part by x? Because I want to show you at the best trick how can I solve this, this equation. Let's raise both sides to the power 1 over x. 1 over x. Let's raise, raise both sides. So left hand side raising we will have 256 to the power x and raising to the power 1 over x equal to 1 over x to the power 1 over x. So we just raise both sides to the power 1 over x. As you can see right here, x times 1 over x give us 1. So on the left hand side we'll have only our constant 256 equal to, and of course this situation, 1 over x and 1 over x as a power. And why this expression is, is good for us? Why are raised to the power 1 over x? Because as you can see, we have the same power and the same base, all same elements. So we have, looks like the next 256 equal to a to the power a, same base and same exponent. Or moreover, we need to solve it using this logic. If we solve it as a to the power a equal to b to the power b, we will have from here that our a equal to a equal to b. So we need to create on the left hand side the same base and same exponent because right here we have b to the power b and right here a to the power a. So if we create from this 256 the same base and same exponent it will be really interesting and we will easily solve it. Take a look 256 equal to 16 square. We know this but 16 square is not good for us. Better for us is to to the 8th power or the, the best way to express this is to write this as 4 square to the second power which is equal to 4 to the fourth power. So as you can see the best way to express 256 equal, equal to 4 to the 4 power. Same base and same exponent and this is the key expression that we need right now because as a result from this expression 256 equal to 1 over x to the power 1 over x, we will have the next one, we will have 4 to the power 4 equal to 1 over x to the power 1 over 1 over x. So we hope you understand this step. This is the same. Why is this expression is really good? Because right here same base, same exponent and same base, same exponent. So one only way that this equation works is when 4 equal to 1 half, 1 half, 1 over x. And from here x equal to 1 fourth using the cross multiplying so x equal to 1 fourth and this is our our solution to this interesting algebra problem so i hope you understand this explanation if you don't understand write your write your question in comment write your suggestion in comment and of course thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos